Um, my name is Reinhard Mutz. I am president of uh, WPIA. WPIA spells to World Privacy and Identity Association. This association was founded on the 10th of December in Graz, Austria. Borgmanngast 3, that is uh, a room of uh, Realraum, a hackerspace, and uh, our postal address is located there. Uh, our members currently come from Germany and Austria, and our target is to create and set up a community-driven or based uh, certificate authority. Uh, my lecture will show you how we gain trust, what we will do, what does it mean to become a trusted service provider, and uh, then at least I will show you our software. Uh, VPR is open for everyone. Our targets are to deploy uh, X509 certificates, and uh, the public will get it for free. Commercial users uh, will spend some money, but uh, definitely it's not the amount you would expect if you uh, hire a commercial CA. Moment, please. To do our job, it's uh, a basic requirement to get trust. And uh, as I said, trust is all you need. Uh, I want to show you, uh, as I said already, how we try to gain trust and what we will do. The mission of our association is to spread the knowledge how to handle the new technologies to the public, to promote the knowledge about digital communication techniques, to raise the awareness how to defend possible threats and risks, to work on solutions for everyone to strengthen the personal rights, to protect confidentiality as well as privacy, as well as the protection of his own identity and integrity, and what we did for this is we bound ourselves to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Because privacy, identity, and so on are fundamental rights, and uh, you cannot divide fundamental rights into parts to take one, because it's some kind of cherry picking. If you want to protect fundamental rights, you have to, um, to take all they are undividable, and you cannot sell fundamental rights, and you cannot buy them. If you see the history of human rights, it happens that um, a chapter of um, high-graded people, 1947, guided by Mrs. Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, put a draft to the public and uh, this declaration was later called the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The official version was first published on uh, the 10th of December 1984, and two years later, the General Assembly of the United Nations passed a uh, resolution and invited all states and interested organizations to observe the 10th of December of each year as Human Rights Day. Mm -hmm. um, this declaration is published in many, many uh, languages and in different uh, formatted uh, booklets. And one of these formatted booklets is, uh, as I show it here, um, you can get it all these documents are free to access and free to use. Um, upholding human rights is in the interest of all. That uh, are words from the Secretary, Mr. General Ban Ki-moon. So the, uh, the UN has another document which was published in 2014 and uh, it is uh, written the, the corporate responsibility to respect human rights. So I will just step over 
Uh, at this year, FOSTEM, I met this guy, Mr. Kabunde. He's working as a European data security professional. And uh, these guys uh, always have a meeting in the week before FOSTEM. And he said uh, to, in this regard, that you cannot monetize a fundamental right and make it subject to commercial transaction. And that is what we really believe, and this is true. Uh, the UN World Sector uh, public report from the year 2003 already stated that it, uh, the protection of privacy is not high on the global or even national political aid uh, agendas yet. And if we check it today, then we will see the uh, situation is becoming worse. So it seems as if in the protection of uh, fundamental rights, there's no real progress. The government from Austria published in 2013 a document, uh, the strategy of Austria in cyberspace, and they promised to um, protect the identity of all. Uh, you can get this document um, on the uh, websites of the Austrian government. Uh, I can give the link later on. So acceptance of uh, uni universal declaration of human rights to its full extent means that at a minimum you accept privacy, accept identity, accept confidentiality, and the rest, which is uh, more or less a thing we all believe in, everyone has the right to live, everyone has the right uh, to get work, and so on. And I think it, it's a um, basic requirement to become a trusted service provider if you go and tell your people that uh, what you believe in and that you really organize a solution to get your rights uh, done. So our target as a, service, as a trusted service provider is to deploy X500 and zero certificates to the public for free, charge commercial users for the cost of operation, ensure a reliable and accountable service, pass an audit based on ENETC 319411 uh, successfully, then we want to become a member <coughs> in the CAP Forum. Uh, this is a forum of the certificate authorities and the browsers, and they try to discuss the requirements and to share the doings in the same way, which is not always done. For example, you know about uh, Start SSL and Rosine. Uh, they are kicked out of the browsers for a uh, time of, for example, one year, maybe a little bit longer, and then they will get a second chance to uh, get uh, trust again. Um, we want that our uh, root certificates will at least get into the trust source of the browsers. So the question is how to get trust and the first is, it's very easy to lose trust. Pat Brecht, the German poetry, once said, you will lose trust if you make demands on trust too often. And uh, you know, there are more than only 50 examples. And uh, you can imagine a lot of uh, examples more. How will we act? to gain trust, see what we are doing, have a look at our website, for example, at uh, our website imprint. You will see a lot of um, links to official organizations, so we exist really. Then please check our statutes. We bind ourselves to the ethics of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Our arbitration model is based on the model of arbitration uh, published by uh, UNCITRAL, which is the base for arbitration in most countries. For example, Austria, that is uh, ZPO 577 and so on. It's Germany, uh, same document from title and paragraphs are 1020 and five. Our fee regulations, for example, uh, 
are based on a schema of the World Bank, so we give um, a cheaper amount to people from uh, third, uh, third level uh, countries. Then what we want to do is to be compatible to Etsy. Etsy is just coming and it's uh, implementing um, services to check identities and so on. Uh, as I said, membership in the CUP forum and audit passed successfully. Uh, we want to share and collaborate with as many like-minded organizations in the world as possible. Um, we just entered partnership with uh, Bundesverband IT uh, Sicherheit in Germany, Teletas TV. Um, if you check their websites, then you will see in that uh, network of cooperation partners under, uh, uh, um, under number two that we are listed there. So currently we are looking for members. What we want to do is we want uh, to spread out our ideas and collect people and uh, ask people to help us. So we don't need only software developers, but teachers as well as artists, because, for example, privacy. Can you imagine a picture where you can show people in a picture what privacy means? I cannot. So we really are looking for artists. And that last is uh, sponsoring. So, well, I said this, what we want, is, uh, want to have is to canvas 10 sponsors to donate 50,000 euros each. And I'm happy to say we just need nine. So, thank you for this uh, talk and for your audience. And I uh, have to excuse and have to say sorry for uh, the time wasting at the beginning. That was a, bit, a little bit bad luck. Well, um, I saw the lightning talks at this uh, afternoon, and Sven Gokas had the same luck as uh, now I had. Mm. Sorry for this, and thank you for your audience. Goodbye.